today is the big launch of our brand new book, Landscaping for Bushfire. It's been out for about a month, but the garden show gives us an ideal way to do a very public launch. There's been some great media interest uh, and we've made some really good connections with colleges like Holmes Glen. Uh, the idea being that we can take these landscape design principles out into the industry and spread the good word. Um, for a while the fire services have been saying you need to prepare your home. Concepts of defendable space have been around for about 20 years, but really nobody was saying adequately what it would look like. I also think that we need to recognise in the fire service that people like to create their own space outdoors. They like to have their favourite plants, their outdoor living. And with this publication, we can actually say to people, this is the sort of thing it could look like if you implemented bushfire design principles. So it fills a gap. The publication is this one. It's got a bit of a background on what is the nature of bushfire risk, how do houses burn down. And then we take people through some of the landscape design principles. And there's a short section on what do we mean by plant flammability. So some of the things that contribute to a plant's performance in a fire. Things like leaf size. So the actual attributes of the plant that contribute to its flammability. And at the back of the book, people can use the plant selection key. And the idea here is rather than publish a list, we're saying if you've got plants in your garden you want to test, if there's plants you're thinking about putting in to either renovate your garden or start a new one from scratch, you can take your plant through these series of questions. So I ask questions like, what life form is it? What sort of bark does it have? But once you've gone through the questions, it'll lead you to a result and it will tell you whether the plant is less fire-wise, fire-wise, or not fire-wise. It's been a lot of interest. It's been really good.